rational exponents, rational just means ratio, like a fractional exponent, right? But they call them rational exponents. And the main thing is that the numerator is the power, okay? And the denominator is the root, okay? That's that's index here. So if n was two, that'd be the square root. If n is three, that'd be the cube root. Now, if you have a negative exponent thrown in there, you wanna remember negative exponents take the reciprocal or you can think of moving it to the other side of the fraction bar and then making it a positive exponent. So the negative flips it, but again, the denominator is the root and the numerator is the power. Now you can see there's two different ways to do this. One way is to take the power first and the root second. The other way to do this is to take the root first and the power second. It sounds confusing, but let's look at a couple examples and try to simplify this for us. So eight to the two thirds, the way I like to do this to make it simple is do the root part first. So this means the cube root of eight. Now the reason I'm doing that is because it makes the number smaller. So what is the cube root of eight? That's gonna be two, because two times two times two, two cubed is eight. And then you wanna raise it to the second power. So this is two squared, which equals four. Okay, let's look at another example. 27 to the negative two thirds. Okay, see that negative? That negative says take the reciprocal, okay, and then raise it to the positive two thirds, okay? Now again, that denominator, see that three, that means the cube root of 27, right? And then the quantity squared. So the, what number times itself three times is 27? That's gonna be three, so we have one over three squared, which equals one over nine. Now the other way to do this problem is, just ignore the negative for a moment, take the cube root of 27, which is three, three squared is nine, and then take the reciprocal, and that gives us the one ninth. Now how do you use this uh, in equations, when you're solving equations? Well, the easiest way to do this is just to raise both sides to the reciprocal power. So you can see I'm cubing this. Let's just raise both sides to the one-third power, okay? Because power to power you multiply, three times one-third just gives you one, so you get x plus two equals 41 to the one-third. Now I'm gonna uh, use the calculator here and kind of see what that comes out to for us. So we've got, let's see, 41 uh, raised to the one-third power. And that comes out to three point four five so we'll just say three point four five and then I'm going to subtract two from both sides and you can see that X is coming out to one point four five 